taking that down, the accounts receivable account on the general ledger went back up and then went back down. So we can see it just went up, down, same thing. We put it back in and took it back out. If we look at the CW account here, this is where we started. Same thing, his subsidiary ledger account for this customer goes back up by nine and back down. Everything is the same except for this allowance account being the reversing account we're using, not affecting the bad debt expense. And the way to think of this is just to think about what did we do before and reverse it. If we look at the comparison, here's the direct write-off, here's the allowance method. Direct write-off, I'm showing the allowance account here, but it's not used. It's not being used here, it's just, that's why it's red. It's not gonna, it's just a placeholder. And what we did was uh, change the bad debt expense to write off or reverse what happened and then record our normal increase in the checking account and receivables. Under the allowance method, we have the same thing except no effect on bad debt. The adjustment that happened happened here in the allowance method, increasing that allowance back up. We will have the bad debt at the end of the time period when we make an adjustment under the allowance method. These will be the major differences when recording the normal transactions uh, for a, an individual or a customer that is determined to be uncollectible and when they pay us after we wrote them off. Going forward, the allowance method will then have an adjustment in order to record the allowance for doubtful account based on either the revenue method here in terms of how much revenue was earned taking a percentage of that to determine what the bad debt would be matched up against that revenue. Or use a balance sheet method, taking a look at the accounts receivable and determining how much of the receivable is gonna be uncollectible. Either way, it's better in terms of the matching method. So the next step on the allowance method would be to determine in some way what the bad debt expense is, not in the case, not by knowing or finding out who is not gonna pay us this time period, uh, from sales made in the past, but instead making some type of estimate in terms of, of this revenue made this time period, how much of it will not be paid, thereby matching up the expense to the related income in the same time period. That estimate, once again, could be made either by looking at revenue, taking some kind of percentage or some type of estimate based on the revenue earned this time period, this month, this year, or look at, at the balance sheet account and seeing how much of this we believe is going to be uncollectible that then getting to the same number of bad debt but doing it in kind of a reversed type of way whatever we discern to decide is uncollectible whatever we have to adjust this allowance account to be the difference will be the bad debt expense here that will be matching up revenue and expenses